Welcome back to Your Voice. Acclaimed Bollywood director Madhur Bandarkar, the man behind bold films like Rangila, Chandni Bar Fashion and Heroine, just to name a few, visited the Big Apple and met with press, fans and local community leaders. Let's join in and hear what he had to say. We'll hear from community leaders, Indian Consul General Bhaneshwar Mule and Madhur Pandarka himself. It's a great uh, pleasure, it's certainly a privilege to see, of course, the, you are one of your favorite directors. Uh, he doesn't know, and I you know, me nor do I really directly know him, uh, but I have been a great admirer of his films myself. I must admit that I don't watch as many movies as my wife watches. <laughs> and uh, my, as many films as my daughter watches. And she's, of course, an uh, you know, she also aspires one day to act. But besides that, what I have, I have few, seen a few of your films. Uh, you're prominent among them is fashion, of course, and then corporate, uh, Chandni Bar. And what? What struck me is that in the last 10-15 years, the Indian, the canvas of Indian movies has dramatically changed. And you seem to be one of those pioneering directors uh, who have really bridged what I call, you know, what used to be earlier so-called artistic movies and, uh, you know, the commercial movies. Looking at your movie, it's very difficult to distinguish what's artistic and what's really commercial. And I think that's that's where the world market really is waiting for such films. If we are, of course, the mass producer of the movies in India, we get pride about it, we become very happy, but we still have not moved out of India. If you look at, look at um, Hollywood, Amitabh Bachchan ji has a very small, tiny, minuscule role in Great Crispy, who ever seen that movie. Um, one of the person, very famous actor, came in a Mission Impossible 3 and we just flopped the American movie theater to watch those movies. But if you think about it, some different producer come to India and make the Slumdog Millionaire and they become the Oscar winner. Some different producer, non-Indian, come to India and make the Hotel Marigold. And it's a worldwide phenomenon, makes almost up $500 million. And still, the Indian cinema one cinema won the Oscar, where some of the nicest Indian musician was giving the title score. Satyajit Ray was a different producer, same way the Madhurji is a different producer. Uh, there are commercial aspects of the movies and there's a non-commercial aspect of the movies. We have to think about what we want to do and what we want to play. My only complaint to the Indian cinema industry is not to have a good contact, a contact somewhere internationally that we cannot even reach to the Keynes Music Festival. We can hardly reach to Canadian musical exhibition. I don't know where we are politically. I don't think we are connected. I think the, the kind of contribution Indian cinema has started is really great. There was a time it was very difficult to get overseas market away, especially I'm talking about films 10 years ago. Cinema, the way it has changed completely is evolved. Cinema, today, when I go anywhere, I'm going to say, especially when I came to US, I'm going to say, uh, LA or Orlando or Vegas or New York and Manhattan, people do connect over here with the films, the kind of cinema I made. Mean, a lot of people say Madhur, you make cinema which is too real, too hard hitting. Your name is so Madhur, why you make so films of contrast? Why are you making, why so 
dark and bitter thing that you show. But I think that's 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 reality. Uh, sometimes people do say that majority of films have uh, abrupt ending. Or let's let's take the flip side also. They, they say that majority of films are too real. It's on the face, you know. Why you did this kind of movie? But I think 2001 cinema was completely different when I started making a film. My I made a first movie called Three Shakti, which just came and went without a whimper. It just came. Bara baje lagi, three baje udar gayi thi picture. So. I made a commercial cinema at that time, which people told me according to that time the mood was also such that 1999 people thought that action ho, comedy ho, romance ho, heroine bikini me ho, sab aise aspect thodi chhi jo picture me, or wo picture just came and went. Then I wanted to make a movie which I wanted case my gut feeling, my conviction, and Chandni Bhar made it to it. So obviously, Tri Shakti has always been a landmark cinema in my movie, my life. They say, how did you say Tri Shakti is a landmark cinema in your life? I said, because if you don't have a flop, then you don't have a flop. What an interesting look into the mind behind the man from the man himself. It's time for just one more short break, but we'll be right back, so stay tuned.